Next, we have the basic components of this DAW. And DAW is just a digital audio workstation. So these are the things that are usually found in all DAWs. However, there will be some things that are unique to Ableton Live. To the top, we first have transport, a play button, and the stop button. Also available to us using the spacebar. Toggle on, toggle stop. We also have arrangement view record. So if I have a blank area here and I armed some track, I can now record into arrangement view. All right, there's a new MIDI recording. I can also do the same thing with audio. We'll get there in a later video. I, I keep on promising that, but it's coming. It's, it's all good stuff is coming. Next up, we have the arrangement position. The first number is the bar number. So 47, 47. The next number is the beat in the bar. So here we're on beat two, three, four. And then the final number is the 16th note count within that bar. So here's the last 16th note of that beat. All right. We also have this beautiful grid. And we can see the subdivision down here, the bottom right. Each one of these lines now represents a 16th note. And as we zoom in and out, you can see that increase and decrease. Because I have this set to an adaptive grid. I can, of course, set this to a fixed grid of one bar if I want, or anything else that I want. Now, over here on the left, I have the ability to change my BPM. Right now, it's at 110. I can scroll up and down and change this. I can also type it in. And the interesting thing is that these are all audio files. And if I turn on looping with Command L after selecting time, I can hit play. If I change the tempo, audio pretty much stays at a very high quality even while changing tempo. That's one of the magical things about live as well. We'll get into warping and everything that allows us to do that. Again, I'm promising in a later video, it's coming. I can tap out a tempo, my mouse. Okay, easy peasy. I can also change the time signature. So that corresponds with my metronome. Right now, we're in 4-4. Four, four. So four beats per measure and the quarter note gets one count. If I change that to 3-4, our loop brace isn't exactly set to 3-4, but you get the idea. I can update that however I want. We'll talk about automating these things in a later video. It's coming. And next to that, we have the metronome. So we can turn it on, turn it off. And we can change how it counts in. When I hit record, it gave us one bar of count in. We can change that to two bars, four bars, or none. We can also change the click sound. So this is the classic Ableton click. We can change that. Oh. Change it to a wood sound. That's all there. And then this is brand new with live as well. We can change basically the subdivision of that click. So right now it's set to auto, but if I were, let's just use this loop again. We can count eighth notes or count 16th notes. Yep, back to quarter notes, half notes. You get the idea. The last thing under metronome is enable only while recording. So if I turn that on and hit play, we don't hear it, but as soon as I hit record, It's there, hit play, and it's disappeared. It's a nice little feature. After that, we have these two nudge buttons. Now, a lot of times, we want to play with other musicians. And maybe we hit play, and we're a little behind the other musician. And instead of saying, time out, stop, let's try and get this in sync, we can nudge this a little bit behind and slow down tempo. As soon as we let go, it jumps back to 110. We can do it the other way. We can speed up 
let go, and it jumps back to 110. This allows us to push and pull and try and line up with other people that we're playing with. Pretty cool. Now finally, let's talk about global quantize. We've talked about this a little bit in the past, but I want to fully draw your attention to this. This determines when clips launch in session view, when they stop in session view, how we scrub in arrangement view. It's basically the magic that keeps everything working together in live. There's no jumping, no stopping, no hiccups. So with it set to one bar, that means a new clip launch or clip stop will happen on the downbeat. Or every two bars or every eight bars. Or we can turn this off and have things come in immediately. Or we can make it smaller than a bar. So the clip launch will come in on the next half note, or the next eighth note. If we turn this off, it's going to work like a typical DAW. So if I hit play, we have an instant jump, an instant launch, and it has that little hiccup feel. That is global quantize. It's the magic of Ableton Live. All right, so those are the basic components of this DAW. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to record your first MIDI clip. I'll see you then.